everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to start working on the inside of our base finally. And so <clears throat> I have kind of a general idea of what I want to have happen here, but there's going to be a little bit of making things up as we go too. Um, so the first thing that I know for sure that I want to do is we're going to remove these back foundations and put a wall back here and have like a little stairwell going down back down to the ground so that later on we can place uh, the mining the mining stuff there um, so I think what we're gonna do first is let's pick up this light and up I uh, lifted my key off the finger just a little too soon and we're gonna just pop that there for the moment and what we're going to do then is we're going to take the doorway here and we're going to put that um, I think we're going to think about changing this doorway to the to the middle here too and probably you know doing something different with that so based upon that idea what I want to do is get this lined up even with this guy but why isn't it not snapping in right here why does it want to snap there that is really weird okay let's come back this way and pull it back to us there except for it's the back it's backwards so let's try it again. Uh, it looks like, yeah, we need to flip it this way. Okay, now pull it back to us. There we go. Okay, so that'll go there. Um, this wall can stay where it is, but it needs to be turned around. Let's uh, flip that around this way and then pop it in place. Oh, <laughs> it just went back the way it was. What the heck, man? So, oh, I see. Okay, so it, it turned itself around for me. Gotcha. Okay, and then let's, this is a double wall. So let's take this wall here. With our new defenses in place, I mean, I, I haven't, you know, I haven't really had the front of the base attacked at all. So that doesn't mean it, that won't happen again, but it hasn't happened yet. So, okay, good. So we got that done. Um, for the BCU, I'm trying to figure out, let's look at something here. Let's go up here and I'm just going to temporarily pick this up because that'll show us the the range of the BCU. Okay. So it's, it could, hmm, yeah. It's already right at the corners of our place here. And uh, we are going to put those corner pieces in here. So I don't think uh, we can, I'm just going to cancel that. I don't think we can move the BCU. It's got to, pretty much has to stay um, right where it is. Sometimes I get stuck there. I forget to crouch as I'm going down. Yeah, the BCU is going to probably have to stay right where it is. It's it's not perfectly centered, which is kind of bugging me, but <laughs> I guess we won't worry about that right now. Okay, so we got that in. Now let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to leave those walls where they are. So that pretty much means we don't have any more walls to play with at the moment without making some new ones. Um, so, <coughs> okay, let's put this stuff in here. I'm going to grab all the boards that we currently have, 45 boards and all of our, or a stack of cordage and some nails there. So what's, hmm, I got to think about this. So I was maybe thinking about, like I said, putting the door here. And then I was going to have this be a hallway to come through, but 
I don't know if that's gonna actually work. So maybe we're gonna leave it the way this that it is. So so that means this is gonna be the entryway. It also means we don't necessarily have to cover the rest of this up then. Um So if that was the case, what if we moved this? Or actually here, let me get started on making some more walls too. Uh, I don't want to make a bazillion, but let's just make a few at a time as we try and figure this out here. So if we pick this guy up and instead put him right here, but flipped around the other way. No, that was the right way. I have the hardest time telling which direction those are going. Let's try this again. Like that. Okay. And I think all of this, we're probably going to pick all of that up too. So I don't think we need it there anymore. But I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Okay. So what we want to do then, we need to have an entryway, and I'm going to leave this kind of an open hallway area, so in case we do still have to do combat, you know, from this window, all of our stuff is still protected behind more walls. So let's grab this piece here, and I'm going to put it here for now. Flip it around. And then, <clears throat> so we could come in here and make this our doorway. So let's make a doorway. Okay, and then this is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, we're going to put another wall here. All of this storage stuff doesn't necessarily need to be in the quote-unquote main structure. In fact, it can probably stay exactly where it is right now. Yeah, I think it can. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put in this doorway here. Like so. All right. And we might just go ahead and we have a doorway there. Maybe do another doorway here. And then this will just be a wall. And this will just be a wall. So what <coughs> Excuse me, what we have to do is we're going to have to move, start moving our stuff back behind there. Yeah, we can get through there. I'll probably rearrange this a little bit differently than what it is, though. Okay, cool. So let's make, let's see, let's make this area back here the kitchen, we'll say. So let's grab you. Trying to be very careful to press the end button only. And why don't we pr place you right in this corner here Try and line it up so it's nice and neat. Okay, so we'll put the fridge there. We will place the stove right next to that. And by the way, I do have uh, some chicken so we can make them um, make some some of that chicken stew. I want to see how good that is. Okay, so we'll put the stove there. Um, what do we need for the chicken stew? <clears throat> we need chicken, potato, carrot, onion, and water. Chicken, potato, carrot, onion, and I have water with me already. Um, Oh, reared chicken meat. 
Oh shit, that's meat that we have to raise ourselves. Oh, okay, so I guess we can't make that. No wild chicken stew. That sucks. <laughs> All right, well, if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Okay, so we're gonna, so that's kind of the kitchen area. And this is our kitchen, sort of kind of kitchen storage. So let's grab this. Uh, I wish we could stick these up on the wall. That would be nice. Uh, I think what we'll do with this is we'll put it right here. Okay. So we can still get to the fridge. We can get to that. Very good. Now, uh, next thing we want to do, I think I want to put the two wood stoves here. <clears throat> because we're also going to be cooking, you know, with those. So let's grab these guys. And we'll just put them right next to the stove. And right up there until it kind of bumps the wall. And same thing with this one. Right next to you. There we go. I might space those out a little more later. We'll see. All right. Now, um, another wall in here. Like so. And then we're going to pick up our workbench. And let's place the workbench right here. Very good. And let's grab this refiner. And I'm, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to put this here. I'm trying to keep, you know, most everything on the back wall here again just because... You know, if if we do ever get any damage coming from the front, it's it's far enough away, right? Okay, cool. So we got that done. Now what we're gonna do is let's move this out of the way temporarily, and just set it there. We're gonna move this out of the way temporarily. <clears throat> set that there. Um. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the short guys over kind of on the edge here. Right next to each other. Like that. And then let's take these electric storage and put them in here. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then we put a wall here. Like that. Oh, the stupid bushes are still <laughs> flipped through the wall. <clears throat> All right, now let's grab our bed. And we'll stick that in this corner here. Hmm. If I if I move this out just a little more. Here, let's grab the let's do the bed first. There. 
What's the matter with me? Oh, I'm thirsty and hot. I'm probably thirsty because I'm hot. It's July after all. Maybe we should take a couple of things off uh, while we're in the base. It's just to stay cooler because it we got the fires running, so it's hot in here, too. Okay, so we got that done. Now, yeah, let's put this back. Well, actually, why don't we... Hmm, I'm trying to think about this. Why don't we... Grab this. We could put it back here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put it back here. Make sure it's nice and lined up. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to be able to keep everything off of this wall, though. So. Probably going to put the storage along here. The rest of the storage. But we've got these three... Well, you know what? We don't actually necessarily need to have these inside because uh, we only access them on occasion. Hmm. We got all that storage over there. All right. What if we grab this guy here? Stick him down here because he'll fit nice and neat right there. Right next to the power storage. That makes sense. Okay, and then we've got the recycler guy, which we only access on occasion. Maybe we could stick him over back here. corner there. Okay, let's grab our storage here. And we're going to line... Can we stack these on top of each other? I think I tried that before and it didn't work, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I could line them all along here, I guess. And if we were concerned about them taking damage, we could double up these walls. I, I was going to put them like this, but <clears throat> this would be better on space, but it, I don't know. I think it would might maybe look better if we line them up this way, maybe. Alright, are we reasonably straight? There's supposed to be a way we can label these two. Oh, we have to use components for that. All right, well, that's not something... That's a nice to have. That's not an essential right now. Okay. And um, let's grab this one with the end key. And we'll put it right next to this one. Make sure it's nice and neat and lined up. That's pretty good. It's not absolutely perfect, but it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Just good enough to where it's not an eyesore. Alright, and this is our water. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll put this here. Yeah, that one's actually kind of an eyesore. Let's just try it again. Okay, so we want to line it up with the baseboard, but then also make sure it's lined up with the front. 
front of that more or less. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And then this thing, again, also something we only use on occasion and not all of the time. I could probably just put that in here. Like so. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up these foundations here. And... Oh, I can't, like, just store these, can I? Nope. <laughs> we can't just store them. It's too bad we can't pick them up and put them, you know, and store them and use them at a later point in time. All right, well, if that's the case, then I guess let's just take and line them up out here for now. Maybe we'll find some other use for them later on. Okay, so we'll put them here and turn that way. This is, is this a curved one or a square one? I think it's a curved one. Yeah. Okay, let's bring this out here. And, um... You know what? Actually, here. Oh, shit. It just snapped away from me. I have an I possible idea for this. Let's just put it... Yeah, let's just put it there for now. Just get in and out of the way for the moment. Alright, I'm going to set that there so I don't lose it. And then let's pick it up again. And we'll pop this one in here. <coughs> Okay, now what I think I want to do here is let's grab... <clears throat> Actually, hold on a sec. i got to think about something here. Yeah, let's take th this foundation here again. Take it outside. And pop it there for a minute. Now, I'm going to pick this one up. And I'm going to put it here. Then we're going to put this one here. So I'm going to do the same thing up top, too, where we're going to have these curved foundations in place. Okay, rotate this way. Stairs are in the middle. And if we're coming <clears throat> from this side, we can just pop up just like that. So that makes it easy enough. Okay, cool. Now, um... What I might do here... Well, I think I'm just going to leave that the way it is. But we do have another foundation here that we got off the hunters when we raided them. So let's put that one down here. And then we just need another corner one 
to go down there. And it's getting dark. Of course it is. Of course it is. Now, I was thinking about... Um, here, let's turn this on. There, that gives us a little bit of light. I was thinking about making some... A couple of rooms in here, actually. Like having like a little bedroom... I don't, I don't know. We don't really need to do that. I mean, we could. I don't think we need to do that. Let's just leave it the way it is. Just keep it open. All right, cool. Now, next thing I want to do is... Um, thinking about pulling up... See, this piece here we can put up on top. And I think this is a curved wall. We could put that there just kind of as a little shield from stuff coming in through that way. Let's just look at that idea for a second. it there for now. Not sure I'm going to keep it there though. All right, I'm I want to put a Can we set these on the ground? I bet you we can't. Let's just look though. No, but you know what we could do with these is we could set these along actually set them along here. Unless there's room for them over here. Oh yeah, we could do maybe do that. Let me put that there. And then put this one over here. Like so. It's kind of clipping in there a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. That's good enough. Okay. It's coming along. It's coming along. Now let's grab this. And we're going to take this out here. I'm going to set it down there temporarily so I don't lose it. And then pick it back up again. And then let's put this one over here. Like so. And once again, we could make kind of like a little shield wall. On that end for the yahoos that keep lobbing grenades and shit over from that side. All right, well, let's keep that in mind. So this is a ceiling piece. Um, I'm not so sure I want to do anything with that right now, but I think I, oh, actually we could take that upstairs. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. I'm not gonna do anything upstairs right now. All right, so now we need to, to put a roof on we could do okay so what's this cost this costs 10 nails i don't care about the wood or the cordage it's just the nails that matters what does this cost that also costs 10 nails but no cordage and that costs 10 nails but no cordage all right you know what let's make some of these Let's make one and and try it first before we make any other decisions here. How's our power doing? Eh, we're doing good. Okay. So what we want to do is turn this that way. No, that didn't snap right. 
<clears throat> I was going to say, isn't that supposed to come all the way up to the middle? Needs to come in. Turn the right way. Like that. Hmm. The thing that might make this look a little weird, though, is this part hanging down there. <clears throat> but it will give us a little bit more of a spacious feel because it's vaulted. Uh, oh, that just went out. Damn it. Okay, let's grab two of these. And it doesn't look like I have any matches. So I'm going to have to make a fire starter. Wasn't paying attention to that, man. I need two more sticks. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if if you connect another one to that, does it make that disappear? I'm going to probably say no, but let's just try it anyway. Um, I wonder... Yeah, that's probably just a one block piece. It's not likely it'll span a two block area. I just want to see what this is going to do. Okay, flip it that way. Yeah, that stays there. But you know what? I'm, I guess I'm okay with that. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. All right, yeah, let's go with this. So we need five more of these. I'm going to have to make some more boards. So let's split this in half and uh, make up some more boards here. How many does it require? Well, you know what? I'm just going to turn them all. Turn this all into boards. Okay. <clears throat> This down here but flipped around the other way like so yeah that's that's actually not so bad I, I like that I'm down with that okay so now this one I'm gonna go this way and pop right in there like so um I'll probably want to put like a little stairs down here too I mean we can jump up there not a ton of room back here, but I want to put the drills back here. That's the idea. We can get around both sides as needed. All right. How are we doing? Uh, yeah, we need to eat. So let's have a delicious carrot stew. Or not carrot stew, tomato soup. <laughs> and let's have a pork chop. Lots of steak, too. Probably going to have to eat one of those steaks. And let's have some strawberries and a blueberry. Okay, that gets pretty close. So we're just waiting on more boards to finish out these final three pieces. And then, like I said, we're going to do a little stairs down there, too. Uh, so we need... Oh, that yeah that takes four boards okay so we're gonna need 12 more for that and for this stairs uh, another three so 15 more boards to make the rest of the pieces I want to make all right so what will what we may end up doing later on is adding more um, you know chess we just can line those along that wall 
Uh, eventually, we're going to want that diving station. I don't think I'm going to make the distillery, but I mean, if we if I change my mind and we do make it at some point, we, we have lots of room to play with in here, so I'm not too worried about that. I don't think we need the doors in place in here, you know, for temperature reasons. Yeah. All right. I like the way it's coming together. Not so bad, man. Not so bad. If we wanted to, we could double up these outer walls, but we would probably be better served dub doubling them up out here because that's where they're actually going to be attacked. Let's run upstairs and take a quick look at our garden up here. All right, look at that. We got some new plants going on here. Give us that cotton, baby. Additional herbs. Carrots. And that cotton plant is still growing. I think, right? Yeah, it's, it's a little small. Okay, so there's nothing in there right now. And you need a little bit of water and some fertilizer. <clears throat> we can just jump right down onto our roof. Huh. Okay. Uh, water and fertilizer. That's what we're after. So grab some of that. And water's in here. I might redo these chests a little bit in terms of what's in which chest but the chests themselves will stay where they are oh we missed our jump Eesh, sometimes that hurts falling down from there oh for pete's sake most of the time i have no problems with this but did i change something to make that not work right there I don't know what the hell was wrong with me <clears throat> alright let's just load this guy up and let the onions and we're going to make more of these too that is on the list that I want to make at least one windmill too we just have to kind of prioritize the order in which we do all this stuff How are we doing? Uh, let's put this in here for now. We have 12 more cotton. So we have a total of 38 cotton. That's great. I don't know that we need to make anything new with that, but we do need to, we do need it for repairs. Uh, speaking of which, good lord, that thing needs to be repaired right now. So, three cotton, six iron, and six cloth. There we go. Um, this needs repairing, too. All right, what do you want? Three sinew. Only have one. Yeah, we're going to have to go cougar hunting again. Like soon let's put these back on for now i think you just need cloth right yeah just cloth okay that repairs our boots you probably need sinew too i'll bet oh no you don't okay you need six iron and three cotton Could have let that go down a little bit more, but I do not, under any circumstances, want to risk losing this stuff because you know it. Get, if it break, if it goes all the way down, it gets destroyed. It was so expensive to make that stuff. Okay, <clears throat> let's put this stuff back in here. This can go in here along with that. Um, this goes in here. And didn't I make two fire starters? I thought I did. 
I'm actually not going to run those fires for the moment. It's just to keep the heat down in here. What's the other one require? Uh, sticks. There we go. I actually made those, but I think I put the sticks back before I was ready to. Okay, so just a few more boards. Looks like there's a bear around here somewhere, probably up above us. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I like the way this came together. It's a nice little, nice little shack. It's nothing fancy, but it's home, and it's gonna be cozy, and it's pretty well protected, you know. <clears throat> We've got our, you know, our gates out there. That's gonna take the brunt of all attacks. We still have this outer wall here, and then the actual house itself. So I feel, you know, like we're pretty well protected. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. We need three more, uh, no, two more roof pieces. Let's get those going. And I'm going to make another little stairwell for the back. Don't need to, but I want to. We'll just stick this in here for now so it's ready to go when the time comes. That's the fridge making all that noise, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We might make, um, like, that little couch, too, at some point, just for fun. That is total aesthetic. It's not a critical item by any means, but if we can afford it at some point, why the hell not? This is a game, after all, and we're having fun with it. And you should pop right in there. Okay, nice. We got the roof in place. I like it, man. I like it. We'll just pretend we don't notice that the BCU is off-center. <laughs> I guess we could make a new one and replace it. It's not... I mean, it's super cheap. Yeah, why don't we do it? Just so it's right. It's got to be right, man, or it'll bug me. It's just the way I roll, you know? <clears throat> the thing I've got to do, though, is I've got to absolutely remember to turn the fridge right back on as soon as we place this though and I think for this light here I'm gonna move this light over to here and the reason for this we're gonna spend most of our time on this side of the structure All right, let's turn that off Okay, so this needs to be right on this seam here. Let's put our stairs in place first here. There we go. And then we'll start putting some drills and stuff out here later. We might even be able to put an animal pin out here. I don't know. I think... I don't know. Maybe we can. I don't know. I think the animal pin has to actually be under the sky, though, for you to use the free range option. But, I mean, we got a whole yard out here. Every once in a while, you know, bears and stuff will spawn in here, though, so we might have to fence it off or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works when the time comes. Okay, so remember, turn the fridge back on immediately after moving this. Immediately. As in right away. Okay, here we go. Right smack dab in the center, and boom. Turn the fridge on. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> now it's in the middle, and it's not going to bug me anymore, and we're good. All right, guys, I think we accomplished quite a quite a lot here uh, on our base. I'm liking it. I really am. I think it's uh, a nice improvement over the hodgepodge setup that we've had uh, so far. So... Uh, does that have any fuel in it? Let's get that thing going. Yeah, the hunters are already in the world. I don't know why you keep doing that every time I move my BCU. Okay, cool. Put that away. And put that there. Let's go over there. And we have an extra wall. 
to do something with at some point. We'll put these boards in here. I like it. I like it. What I don't like is this this business. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it though. Um, what you know, one thing I guess we could do is build up to a second level and then have a hatch going all the way to the top. That would be neater, but kind of a pain in the ass. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't be actually. What does it take to make a hatch? Is that something I can do in here? That that only goes up one level. I wonder if you can make a hatch that goes up three levels. And then just leave it open the whole time so like you're climbing a ladder. Hmm. That's an idea. And we could get rid of all this crap right here. Um, I don't know. If it doesn't work... I'm out 12 adhesive and 6 ingots, which is pretty damned expensive. That is expensive. Well, let me think about that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is for now. Because it works, even though it looks stupid. It does work. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I might mess with this a little bit more. We'll see. But I'm not going to do it right now, of course. All right, you guys. So that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.